wildlife and how it changed through the year. And I got interested in astronomy and natural history. Astronomy and changes. And that was just curiosity about the world. When I went to university, I was going to do ecology. Um, and then it was just too wet and cold out there. <laughs> and it, so I sh shifted back into an electron and cellular so book um, um, uh, biology. Um, why have I still kept up? I want to say a couple of things about that. I have an almost unhealthy curiosity about the world. It's almost pathological. You know, I mean, I do understand that I'm weird, but I mean, <laughs> and that has kept, and that is the major driver because I'm quite ancient now, and I'm still driven by the curiosity of, of the problem. I get incredibly excited when I think of an experiment that hasn't been done before, and we see the results that we haven't seen before. And it has to be said that usually research and this curiosity and this pathology, let's call it, does sort of mostly fade a bit as, 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 as scientists and researchers get a bit older. And, um, and that's probably healthy, to be quite honest. Um, but in my case, it has not. So although I've led institutions and so on, I've always spent nearly half my life still working with my people in my lab. So it's a, a, a pathological curiosity. Right? <laughs> that's what kept it. Okay.